Good morning and uh, welcome to GFC Visions, Growing in Friendship with Christ. Today the church, the Catholic Church, celebrates the feast of one of the Twelve Apostles, St. James, uh, brother of St. John the Beloved, and um, he was one of the three apostles that uh, Jesus took, you might say, very special closeness interest in. And uh, he, he was there when uh, at three significant points in the public ministry of Jesus, when he raised the daughter of Jairus, when he was transfigured on Mount Tabor, and also uh, when he went into the Garden of Gethsemane. He brought Peter, James, and John with him into these, these very, uh, very special kinds of intimacy. And um, he, um, he, he was the first of the apostles to shed his blood for Christ. He suffered martyrdom uh, in Jerusalem, it's believed around the year 44. So just about like 10, 11 years after Jesus, uh, after Jesus was crucified and rose and uh, ascended, Saint James was was more than uh, ready. He was the first who was ready to to shed his blood for Christ. So I begin with a hymn, a lovely hymn, which has a sort of a an apostolic flair to it. It's called "God's Spirit Is in My Heart." God's Spirit is in my heart, He has called me and set me apart. This is what I have to do, what I have to do. He sent me to bring the good news to the poor, tell prisoners that they are prisoners no more, tell blind people that they can't see, and set the downtrodden free. That the kingdom of God has come. Go tell everyone the news that God's kingdom has come. Just as the Father sent me, so I'm sending you out to thee. My witnesses throughout the world, the whole of the world. He sent me to bring the good news to the poor. Tell prisoners that they are prisoners no more. Tell blind people that they can't see. And set the downtrodden free. Go tell everyone the news that the kingdom of God has come. Go tell everyone the news that God's kingdom. I have a very good, uh, some good friends that live in Castle Bar, who uh, who put me up uh, every year uh, on the weekend of Reek Sunday, which is this coming Sunday. Now, as you probably know, uh, the church uh, has been uh, asked to uh, cancel the pilgrimage this year because of the restrictions that the COVID uh, pandemic has placed upon uh, many many countries in in, in the world. So uh, the official pilgrimage has been canceled for this year. But uh, I, I asked someone to call the uh, Garda office, the Gardi in, in Westport, to find out if they're going to be stopping everyone from climbing. And I was told, and I, I trust, that, uh, that they're not going to be super strict about it and that they will be letting people go up the mountain. Because A, it's perfectly easy to social distance when you're climbing a mountain. Very few people climb side by side with with a friend uh, they might go up with friends but they're not going to be very close together they're going to be certainly giving each other at least a, two meters of, to, to you know distance that's just kind of almost by necessity and then secondly uh, I'll bring my guitar up there as I do every year and even though there won't be masses at the summit uh, anybody who climbs tomorrow uh, gets up there by between nine and, and say eleven or twelve o'clock. I'll be up there for about three hours, playing some lovely hymns and uh, trying to get the people up there to rejoice in the gift of uh, Saint Patrick and his his great zeal for for this uh, for Jesus Christ and for and for the spreading of the gospel. Uh, but it, back to Saint James, just real quickly, uh, I, I have a, a, a devotion to Saint James as well, 
which stems from my love for uh, pilgrim walks. Uh, I've only done the uh, Camino de Santiago de Compostela once. I've only really been privileged to to set aside one two-week period when I, I walked about 625 kilometers from, uh, from Lisbon. I, I did the Portuguese way from Lisbon to Santiago. And um, I averaged about 40, about 42K a day, uh, you know, about, uh, so I did it in, in exactly 14 days doing about 25, 26 miles a day. So uh, it, was, it was a fairly fast pace. I, I probably should have gone a bit slower but I was under some time constraints, uh, and uh, I like to go fast. I just uh, I don't take a siesta in the middle of the day when I go through uh, different parts of uh, of Portugal uh, in Spain. I didn't I didn't take a siesta. I, I did stop to have my lunch, but then I kept moving. The um, the beautiful beautiful Basilica of Santiago de Compostela, with this huge thurible that that goes across the sanctuary, and it. Um, you know, I was given some insight, and I, I truly believe this is a very accurate. One of the reasons why they had such a big thurible, which, you know, emitted such immense amounts of, of, of sweet-smelling incense, was because when many, many pilgrims would gather in that basilica, and there wasn't social distancing uh, there were, during, the, during these, these different uh, periods of time throughout history when pilgrims were coming in large numbers. Uh, to the shrine there. Um, you can imagine they're all coming from, you know, long distances and uh, the odor of the people uh, who, who arrive there uh, with, with their bodies covered with sweat and dirt and uh, who knows what. Um, it probably wasn't all that, that pleasant uh, a, a smell that uh, many of these pilgrims would come into the cathedral with. They would wash their feet. Uh, they were, they, you know, there was a place where they could wash their feet and clear the dust, take the dust off their feet. But nonetheless, that thurible was necessary in order to create a little better fragrance within the, within the huge basilica. So um, there, there's a little practical news for you. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure you'll read that on a, a on a website uh, that you, you you check out today, but uh, I, I'm I'm pretty sure that's that's some pretty interesting uh, factual information. So anyway, I do recommend to anybody out there who's physically capable of walking a couple a few hundred kilometers, two hundred to three hundred kilometers even, uh, do do the Camino, do it. Um, it's uh, you know there's many many beautiful parts of it that you could you could walk from France of course you could do that beautiful French way uh, starting in the Pyrenees that's a very challenging way you could go from Burgos in Spain you can go from from somewhere in Portugal from Tui which is right on the border of Portugal but I'll tell you when you walk the Camino you do feel you feel so enthused you really your faith is, is it comes to life and you meet so many interesting people along the way and you get great hospitality and it's not that expensive if you stay in the albergues and you uh, you bring your own sleeping bag and you can self-cater your own food at a very cheap price so um, maybe if you're out there watching and you're thinking yes what can I do to you know something new this year to uh, to, to kind of spice up my my spiritual life do the Camino uh, you you won't regret it I highly highly recommend that so uh, let me pray a decade of the rosary now because I, I have to be making my way to the train station literally as soon as I finish this video. So we say the, uh, the proclamation of the kingdom, the third mystery of light. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we Forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. Our Lady, Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Saints Peter and Paul, James and John, and all the holy apostles, pray for us. Let all who are thirsty come, let all who wish receive the water of life freely. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Let all who are thirsty come, let all who wish receive the water of life Thank you so much for watching GFC Visions. Please remember me in your prayers this weekend. Pray for good weather on the mountain for those who will be climbing and that uh, we all go up and, and down safely uh, because there won't be first aid uh, and uh, security people there to, uh, to aid the climbers. Uh, so pray, really pray that St. Patrick would bless everybody this weekend in, with a greater love for Jesus Christ and Holy Mother Church. God bless.